So in today's session, we are going to learn about FHIR summary element and with the symbol. So we will try to know what is the meaning of the symbol. We'll directly go to FHIR website over here. We can type it directly in the Google and just go to this hl7.org website. You can go to resource types and in the resource types, you can see the patient resource. As we already covered what is resource in the previous videos, that would, this would be very easy for you. So if we go to structure, uh, we already learned about different types of uh, genotypes and other cardinalities. So there is a symbol, sigma symbol over here. So what is the meaning of the symbol? When you hover around it, it says this element is included in summaries. So what is the meaning of this particular element is what it is needed right now. I'll just copy this over here and we'll see how this works, okay? I'll just copy this. Yep, this all particular details have this particular summary symbol over here. So to make it very easy, I just uploaded this file in my GitHub. You can come to this particular link. I will all paste it in the YouTube channel below the description. So you can copy this detail and paste it in a notepad plus plus or anywhere. So now you can see this is almost uh, the same structure of this particular FHR resource. So I'll keep it side by side to make it a uh, better understanding. Yeah, you can see it. It has an identifier over here inside the patient. It has an active over here. You can see and all the details, uh, the telecom, the gender, and with all the sub objects, uh, the keys and elements. So everything is similar, but uh, it has some data. For example, uh, for the resource type, it I mentioned, yeah, it's a patient and we have some data over here. So the major thing we need to understand is like, what is, what is the symbol is for? So what I do, for example, fire, uh, what is the major use of fire? We can uh, directly create uh, uh, Android applications, iOS applications. We can directly use the fire data and connect it to the website. So it is very, very simple and easy comparing to HL7. So what I have done is like, I just took this particular resource and added this HTML and body at the top and bottom. So how it will be useful, I'll let you know. And uh, you will uh, be amazed like how in a multiple ways we can use a fire resource in a simple uh, thought process. So you can save this as .html file. So I already saved this over here, .html file, which is nothing but the same thing. I just saved it in the pattern. So when you open this particular .html file, what you will see. So right now I'm going to open it. I have already saved this file. So what you can do, you can right click on the file. For example, I have my own file set up over here. So what I'll do, I'll open this and I'll right click on this file and I'll open it. You can see all these details are populating out over here. So why these details are not populating it out and why these details are populating. So when you look into the pattern over here, specifically, these details are nothing but which are inside the summary. These details are not inside the summary. So these details will automatically pop out in any website if you are using that particular fire resource without any extra intervention, meaning those are like easy to use. So these all other details are nothing but the custom values which the developer need to involve himself to pull all these details. So when you're trying to open any particular fire resource, the things which are in the summary, the things which are in summary automatically pops up in the website. So you don't need to put any extra effort uh, or trying to do any coding or editing. They will automatically pop out. For example, the identifier, active name and all the gender details you can see. Over here, the name, Jim, and the uh, male is gender, date of birth, medical record number. These are all inside the summary. To make it uh, more explanative, I'll paste this aside and we'll open this particular thing. That, that's perfect. So here we come. Uh, we have an identifier. That's okay. We have uh, the name, human name. So it's nothing but Jim. We have telecom details. Uh, you can see there are other details over here, medical record number and gender. We can see gender over here. And you can see uh, it is active. 
boolean yes or no select true or false you can see this is active true or false so the lot of other names so in the telecom you can see the contact details and you might see where is next of kin it will be here for sure when you you can do control f for that so there are like other other particular objects which have this uh, sigma symbol means it is a summary content so that's how these specific details are automatically popped out at the website rather than involvement that's how you can use a fire resource very comfortably and for each and every symbol inside a fire resource there's a specific meaning for it so if you want any other details to be pulled out from the fire resource uh, you can include that you i'll just again open the particular thing like uh, the html pattern you can see anything which is inside this div is nothing but comes under summary all these details are populating out here in the particular order anything is over here okay so all the details are already over here means the html format everything is over here and anything at the bottom is custom so those are not populating you can see from the identifier over here these are just all the like dump values at the bottom so this can be used as required so when you go to the fire uh, type over here anything with the summary symbol will populate properly anything without summary symbol those are uh, add on extra values you can use it as required so here you can see i didn't create any website right i just saved in the html file opened the fire resource it's already in the format so that's the speciality of the format and that's the speciality of this uh, summary symbol i think uh, you got uh, good enough points on this so you can uh, use fire uh, in a very flexible manner creating multiple websites or android applications so it's very very uh, easy and simple thank you